Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Hey, so today, amazing study. This is actually gold. So a buddy of mine um, sent me this this talk about Lorenzo Snow in Teachings of the Presidents of the Prophets. Um, I think it was lesson one, um, um, and it was on it was on learning by faith. And what was really cool about this is I've always like experienced this principle in my life, but I had never actually like put words to it like Lorenzo Snow does. So it was a really cool like eye opening idea and like thing that I really want to input now. And the basis of it is that when we learn by faith, it's not necessarily on the teacher, but it's all on us. So like what I mean by that is as children of God, we all have a sacred duty to learn the principles. Like, okay, sorry, let me back up. There are natural laws and principles that will exalt us as children of God. And the, and the more that we learn about those and conform to those, the easier it will be for us to find knowledge and intelligence in order to make that happen, in order to become like God and to increase our character in that way. And so the, the better that we are able to, to learn about those, so we have a duty and a privilege to study the gospel, to study those principles and to learn about them, and then to conform our lives and harmonize our actions with those principles in order to obtain exaltation. That doesn't mean just us, but it means helping other people do that as well. So it's really cool about what, what Lorenzo Snow was saying was that lots of times when we go to like general conference or even like a regular sacrament meeting, we we have like we go with this intent to like be um, to be like edified by the speaker instead of by the spirit. Like we want to have the message presented in this like amazing way, right? When in reality, like we ourselves have to prepare our own hearts in order to to hear that message, and if we will exercise a labor of mind. That's a phrase that Lorenzo um, Snow uses, the labor of the mind, which is really interesting to me because it implies that you're not just like willy-dilly going into this 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 talk or the study or this meeting or whatever it is. Like beforehand, you have prepared yourself spiritually. You have begged the Lord for like the spirit, which is awesome because what that means is you are essentially preparing your spirit, heart, and mind to receive revelation as you are hearing the speaker. And so it doesn't actually matter if the speaker presents the the, the message effectively or not. If they do it in a compelling manner or not. If they do it in a in like this like flattery way or not. Like it doesn't actually matter because you have the spirit. If you have prepared yourself and so what you get out of every conference, every sacrament meeting, every just meeting in general is primarily based on how well you have prepared, how well you have sought after the spirit. And that that's like a really cool thing for me. Like I, I love teaching. And so for me, I'm always like looking for better ways to increase my ability to to like effectively present a message and have that actually build change in people's lives to actually like build them up in righteousness and the problem that i've run into is that some people just don't do that but like that's kind of on them like yes i can always do more to to engage them and i'm actually thinking about taking like five minutes before every lesson and and like having people prepare themselves because it actually makes a huge difference in the way that you leave that meeting because the whole goal of at least in my opinion the whole goal of like of like going to like a Sunday school lesson or a sacrament meeting is to leave feeling edified to leave feeling excited to conform yourself to those natural laws which in essence essentially is like those principles that I was talking about at the start of it. And the more you confirm to the principles, the happier you will be. 
but it all depends on our spiritual like labor of the mind. I just love that phrase, the labor of the mind to prepare our hearts mentally and spiritually in order to receive direct revelation from our Father above. And if we do that, it actually does not matter how the, the speaker presents his message. The Spirit will guide us and random flashes of inspiration will, will, will happen to us um, or kind of like random flashes or ideas or action plans will start to formalize. We'll start to get like excited about things because our, because our questions are being answered. And so just like an, an amazing um, principle that runs us know goes over. And I'm also doing this video so I can express that and learn it better by, by teaching it. So great and amazing chapter. I recommend you all go, 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 go read that. Thanks, guys.